A nearly $150 million is on the table to help expand broadband internet access in Iowa. Local 5's Nora J.S. Reichart shares what that investment could mean for our rural communities. As a town of just over 450 people, life in Runnels can be pretty quiet. And staying connected with friends out of town can be tricky without reliable internet. It's out more than it's in. A uh, constant thing on Runnels Peeps, if you look at our website, People are always complaining about the internet being off. On Monday, Governor Kim Reynolds announced grant funding from the Empower Rural Iowa Broadband Grant Program would be used to help bring faster internet around the Hawkeye State. Runnels is one of the eligible sites. Officials with the city said that the need for improvement became crystal clear during the pandemic. We have a community center where we open up for, during COVID we had it open for our school kids that could go in there. And But when you don't have internet or, you know, it just, doesn't help. In total, there are 96 designated broadband intervention zones across the state that will be eligible for a portion of that funding. Here in central Iowa, some of those zones include portions of Winterset, Dallas Center, and Nevada. This is the eighth round of funding for Iowa's broadband expansion. According to the governor's office, the program has already brought broadband access to more than 109,000 schools, businesses, and homes across the state. And Iowans I spoke to say that investment would be a welcome boost. You can't get the full HD, much less 4K video. So faster internet would mean that you would be able to get, you know, the full movies and stuff you're paying for. In Runnels, this is Nora J.S. Reichart for Local 5 News. Back to you, Stephanie. Earlier this month, Governor Reynolds vetoed Senate File 388, which would have required the Office of the Chief Information Officer to use federal broadband standards when federal money is being used to pay for it. In a statement, she said her veto was to allow the office to continue using state metrics instead of, quote, often lower standards set by the federal government.